We invite everyone as we begin to please kneel. for this time that we spend before you this evening in prayer as we continue to pray for an end to the destruction of life and a restoration and a renewal of the culture of life in our world and in our church. May we take all distractions that are in our hearts and dispel them in this hour of prayer. May our hearts be fixed and focused on you alone, you present in the most blessed sacrament, you who put the love that with which you love us into our hearts by our very creation. Help us in this hour of prayer. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us to focus ourselves upon you. Help us to focus ourselves upon those who are discarded, made in the same image and likeness that we are. The same love and deserve the same dignity. Help us to see them, O oh Lord. Help us to love them, O oh Lord. Help us to pray for them. O oh Lord. We invite everyone to be seated. For those here in church this evening, upon your entry, you received a number of papers, the first being a prayer to the unborn. I invite you to pull that prayer out at this time and to join me in praying that prayer together as our opening prayer for this holy hour for life tonight. Together we pray. Heavenly Father, in your love for us, protect against the wickedness of the devil. 
those helpless little ones to whom you have given the gift of life. Touch with pity the hearts of those women pregnant in our world today who are not thinking of motherhood. Help them to see that the child they carry is made in your image as well as theirs, made for eternal life. Dispel their fear and selfishness and give them womanly hearts to love their babies and give them birth and all the needed care that a mother alone can give. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. At this time, we will pray the rosary. We will pray the luminous mysteries of the rosary. You may either remain seated or kneel as your preference. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery of the rosary, the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those most in need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. The second luminous mystery, the first miracle of our Lord at the wedding feast at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven. Help especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration of our Lord at Mount Tabor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria. Fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Most Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave. Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Angela Marici, pray for us. St. Augustine, pray for us. All ye holy men and women, saints of God, 
Pray for us. Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. For those of you who may be kneeling, we invite you to be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And he said to me, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a youth, for to all, for to, all to whom I send you, you shall go. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Be then not afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you. Behold, I have put my words into your mouth. See that I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms, to pluck up and to break down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A pleasant good evening to everyone here tonight. Good evening, everybody. It's good to see so many of you here this evening. I thank our choir for being here this evening, for adding some music and some as uh, St. Augustine says, when we sing, we pray twice. So thank you all for being here tonight. I would be remiss if I did not begin my remarks on this holy hour for life if I did not speak of the presence of our beloved Knights of Columbus who are here in great number tonight. And we're grateful to so many of them for being here. And we know why they are here and why we're also live streaming this evening's holy hour and it would be remiss of me if I did not start by talking about someone of our parish community who is a staunch defender of the right to life, and that would be John Mark, who recently passed away in the past few months. John's smiling on us all tonight. I know that for a fact, because this, I think, was next to Christmas, arguably his most favorite time of the year, when we would come together in staunch defense of life, not just in the womb. But John Mark would tell you he'd defend it from the womb to the tomb. Every aspect of life is sacred. Every aspect is defended. And the passage, passage that I chose this evening for us from the book of the prophet Jeremiah to reflect on, and we reflect on this notion of life, my dear sisters and brothers, in the presence of our Lord body, blood, soul, and divinity present here on our altar in the Blessed Sacrament brings two questions for us to reflect on as a community and as a church. And these are questions, dare I say, John would ask. How good is God to us to give us life? How good is God to give us life? Because it is he who gives us life. We hear that in the book of the prophet Jeremiah when he says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Do we really understand that? Has that concept wrapped around our mind yet? That before we were formed, God knew who we were and he knew the greatness by which each and every single one of us was destined to be. All of us, present in this church, watching at home, watching the recording later, those who could not be here tonight, every single one of us Before we were formed in my mother's womb, God knew what we were slated to be. That's why we're here. The thousands of people who could have been and aren't. The thousands of children, millions, that should have been 
but are not. And those who are on this earth now, the because they're too old to be dealt with, they're considered a burden. Same boat. Before God formed you in the womb, I knew you, says the prophet Jeremiah. The word life in Greek, used in both the Old and the New Testament, is the word zoane, and it means being, it means living. Not something that may be living later, not something that could live if we poke it a little bit, it means it is living now. From the moment of conception, it is a living being. And in the Old Testament, this word is used to describe the life that God gave by conception. Before I formed you in the womb, the Lord says to the prophet Jeremiah, I knew you. The word zoane in the New Testament used specifically in the Gospel of St. John is what Jesus uses to describe the life that he brings to all of us, his children. It's the same life. It's the same spirit. It is that life given to us by God, cultivated through Christ's coming to us and invigorated through the power and the working of the Holy Spirit. This is why God is so good to us, because he gives us and he chooses to give us this life. He willfully chooses to give us life. We are a people of life because we are God's people. And we come here tonight in thanksgiving and in reparation and in renewal. We come here in thanksgiving for our own lives, thanking God for everything that has transpired and everything that may transpire, for he is the source and origin of it all. We come here in reparation for those who do not have that chance, due to human weakness, human selfishness, human ignorance. And we come here in renewal tonight, begging our Lord that through our prayers a change will come upon this earth, that life will no longer be considered something to be discarded, but something to be cherished. And that's why this society has chosen to shortchange and cheapen life, the life God gives us. We say no tonight. We as a church, we as a people, we as a society need to keep saying no to that. For every time we say no, Every time we say no, we say yes to God. Saying no to the selfishness of the world and yes to the God who loves us. That's what John did. Day in and day out. And Lord knows he argued with so many of us in this church for it. Some people thought he was too much. John wasn't enough. It's the complete opposite. We need to be that voice now. All of us, in our own way, in our own communities, in our own circle, we need to be that voice now. Is John screaming it down from heaven, please God, through our prayers? We need to continue the fight. I said there were two questions. The first question was how good is God to give us life? The second, what have we been chosen by God for? The answer is very simple. Love. We've been chosen by God for love. For God is love. And he calls us to love. And he implores the love in our hearts to stem forth. Because he put it there. How do I know that? Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And when we don't have the words to say, as the prophet Jeremiah said to the Lord from verse 9, Then the Lord put forth his hand, touched my mouth, and said to me, Behold, I have put my words 
into your mouth. That's the Spirit of God. When we don't know what to say in situations that may be sticky, we call upon Him. We call upon the Spirit of God. Because it is that same Spirit that calls us to be instruments of love and not violence. It is that same Spirit that calls us to pluck up instruments of peace and break down instruments of violence, destruction, and death. To promote a culture of life instead of a culture of compliance. It is that same love, that same spirit, that calls us to destroy the ideologies that have become commonplace in this world and that disregard the sanctity of all human life. And instead, through our love, to plant those that promote and promulgate a culture where all are respected, all are loved. All dignity is truly given as God's children. It is our call to do so because God has placed it within us. The prophets tell us this. Our Lord shows us this. The Spirit of God compels us to do this. And if all of that does not mean enough to us as a parish community, one of our own with his life taught us how to do it. We owe it to him as our friend, our brother, our parishioner. We owe it to the millions of lives that have gone before us. We owe it to those on this earth who are not given the dignity of being treated with respect. We owe it to God most of all. Let us love what he has created. Let us continue and let us rebuild the kingdom of God in a culture and a gospel of life. Amen.
For those here present, you received a sheet that has the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I invite you to take that sheet out now and participate in the responses that are in bold, the part of all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Mystical Rose. Holy Mother of God. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Mother of Christ. Mother of the Church. Mother of Divine Grace. Mother Most Pure. Mother Most Chaste. Mother most undefiled, Mother most amiable, Mother most admirable, Mother of good counsel, Mother of our Savior, Virgin most prudent, Virgin most renowned, Virgin most powerful, Virgin most merciful, Virgin most faithful, Mirror of justice, Seat of wisdom, Cause of our joy, Spiritual vessel, vessel of honor, tower of David, tower of ivory, house of gold, ark of the covenant, gate of heaven, morning star, health of the sick, refuge of sinners, comforter of the afflicted, help of Christians, queen of angels, queen of patriarchs, Queen of prophets, Queen of apostles, Queen of martyrs, Queen of confessors, Queen of virgins, Queen of all saints, Queen conceived without original sin, Queen assumed into heaven, Queen of the most holy rosary, Queen of peace. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God. Together let us pray. Grant, we beg you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow, and enter into the joy of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
We invite everyone to please stand as we begin our night prayer together. Night prayer can be found in the Compline and Benediction books that you were given as you came in tonight. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. My dear sisters and brothers, as we come to the end of this day, let us thank God for all the good he has done in our hearts and in our lives, and for the times in which we have not been faithful to him, in thought, word, and deed. We come before the Lord asking for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison, Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In preparation for the Feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, which the Church will celebrate tomorrow, our hymn this evening will be number 507 in your Missalettes, Faith of Our Fathers, number 507. We'll sing everything. Faith of our fathers, living still, in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy, when heard we hear that glorious word. be seated. In spite of the book sayings, river and school side tonight, we'll recite the psalm together after I recite the antiphon. 
In you, my God, my body will rest in hope. Together we say, preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless you, Lord, who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since you are at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand happiness forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In you, my God, my body shall rest in hope. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. May he preserve you whole and entire, spirit, soul, and body, irreproachable at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Please stand. Together we say, save us, Lord, while we are awake. Protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest with him in peace. We will pray this prayer together, and as we do, we begin by making the sign of the cross. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest with him in peace. Please kneel. Yeah. 
them bread from heaven, containing in itself holy light. Let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrifice of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. 